Hello, welcome to this lesson in Algebra 1. We're going to conquer a topic incredibly important to algebra, and that's called the greatest common factor of monomials. So in the last section, we talked about the greatest common factor, but we just did it in terms of numbers. Now we're going to turn to algebra and extend that idea to, to algebra. So let's first, let me write down a problem we did in the last section, uh, and we'll use it as a reference, as a, as a, as a road map here. So the greatest common factor of um, 12 and 18. These are just two numbers, 12 and 18. What did we find out that the answer was? If you go back to the last section, you'll see that the GCF uh, of these two numbers was equal to 6. Now, the reason why this was the answer was because this is the biggest factor, which means the biggest thing divisible into each of these numbers that are common to both. So, in other words, 6 times 2 is 12, 6 times 3 is 18. All right, nothing larger than 6 works, 7, 8, 9, 10. If you just go up in the numbers, not, you cannot find another number larger than 6 that I would be able to multiply by something to go in, or another way to think about it is, is being divisible. So keep that in mind, that that's the definition of what a greatest common factor is um, in terms of numbers, because the same sort of idea applies to algebra, but it's just a little difficult to think about it usually in the beginning. So we're going to do a lot of problems. So what if you had 3x squared as one of, instead of a number, now we have an algebraic expression, 3x squared, and 9x to the third. And we wanted to find the greatest common factor of those two things. All right, so we have to look at this guy as an entire term and this guy as an entire term. However, each one of them has a number and each one of them has some variables. In this case, x squared and x cubed. And we're going to get to more complicated problems where we have more variables. But in the basic sense, you have number and variable and exponent. So what you're trying to, to do is you're trying to look at both of these guys and you're trying to figure out what is the biggest factor, the biggest thing common to both of them. So you can kind of look at the number separate from the variable. All right. So if you just looked at the number 3 and 9, what is the greatest common factor there? Um, I'm just going to write it down because it's just going to take some practice for you to see. Okay. The number 3 is the greatest common factor of both of those because 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 3 is 9. Obviously, I can't use 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on because none of those numbers will multiply by anything to give me 3. So 3 is the biggest number that is a factor common to both of these. Now, what would be the biggest factor common to x squared and x cubed? And that you may have difficulty coming up with until you see a bunch of these problems. I'm going to write the answer down and we'll talk about it. The answer is x squared. So the greatest factor between 3 and 9 is 3. The greatest common factor between these two guys, x squared and x cubed, is x squared. And the reason is because x squared times 1 gives you x squared, and x squared times 